Welcome back everybody to a quick one. Does it bother you when you use your thumb ring? You know, your classical traditional thumb ring. You have it here and you want to reload. And then when you reload like I do, I push my thumb forward. Then I got stuck here with the thumb ring. And then it's always a little clunky. Then I need to go around. Then I need to shoot. That's all fine and good. But then the ring slips backwards a little and I need to push it forward again and need to reload. Get stuck again. And again, it slipped backwards. So it's always a hassle to adjust this thing here. Of course, when you have one which fits perfectly, it might not happen. But with me here, it just happens. Solution. By the way, this is from Hannes Wolf too. He is my friend from near Linz. And he made now an invention. And look at this, what he did. Um, I got two of them, one even with a strap from the back, but all these rubber bands already broke, so they are not very sturdy. But look what you can do now. First of all, you have the strap. We need to change this in something more sturdy around the tip of your thumb. First of all, what you have is the thumb ring doesn't fold away when you reload. And second of all, the thumb ring is hardly going back. Let's try. As you see, it's quite sophisticated here. He made some adjustments. Even here you can see he made here a very flat part. So you can really slide with the arrow indication here should help but what i like is that the thumb doesn't slip backwards anymore and that's nice so now let's see if it works so it's not so much in the way and i can come quicker around the string and what i like the most is that the string stays in position it doesn't slide backwards or something doesn't go anywhere stays in position. Obviously a plastic thing like this is only for low poundage bows, we know that, but I mean it's, it's interesting. I like when people develop something like this. It's just cool. It's not uh, finalized yet for me because this rubber band is from, from the other ring they're all broken already so they are very quality is not there yet, but the ring doesn't slip anywhere so it stays here nice in position and it stays here close to my thumb whatever I do. If I would do this with the old ring, if I find it, so if I do this with the old ring you see what happens is I create this gap and no matter what style I shoot it can be distracting. See that? And it's already whoosh, slipped backwards here a little bit. So either you have the leather there back and you tie it, but you still have this motion here. And with this ring, I'm, I like creations like this, you know. Not for everyone, for sure, not for the purists and for the traditionalists, but look at this. It's around the tip of my thumb. And now whatever I do, the ring stays in position and it doesn't slide down it stays here it just gets it's, it's not bad it's more like you know proof of concept of course in 3d printed they are not so sturdy but one could make out of this one a mold and make it with more sturdy material it's fine but see loading is so much easier and the ring stays in front it doesn't slide backwards you get no skin pinching here or something. Works just fine. The tip always stays on. <laughs> this is so cool. I like it. It's, it's not there yet with these rubber bands I said from the other ring. There was and you can make from here to here another band and it sits even tighter. 
but it needs to be out of a different material harness. But I think the idea is not bad, so it's worth a try. And you have it here really a sharp corner here. It's not bad, let's shoot again. See, the ring stays constantly here in position. And I can slide here easy over because I don't get stuck. You see that? I don't get stuck here. I can only lift a little and I slide over already. It's cool. By the way, for shell hook, you always want to use a shell hook thumb ring. Don't try it with a leather piece. You really need this, this edge here back there where you can put the ring then on your middle finger and hold it straight. Let's try if this one is shell hook capable. It feels like almost, yeah, almost, almost. So the ledge a little bigger harness and then you would have a shallow hook something in this design. Ah no, it's, it's sliding. So this is a little too, too small, too short. But for the rest, I don't know if that normal thumb shooting. The thumb ring is just a little, it's a 25 pound bow and I feel already the plastic bending. So 3D printed is not the final solution, but it's the, for design purpose. And then you see if it works and then you can make it out of sturdier material. And as I said, the rubber band needs to be out of some other material. I don't know what you can do, but honestly, you will figure something out. But I like this idea where it's going. So, proof is in the pudding, they say. Speaking of which, I'm hungry now. Look at this. It's nice, you see it? Wait a second. You see it? Is it focus? Pretty neat idea. I like it. Cool. Hannes, thank you very much for giving this to me. I am always happy when we have some inventors and they don't sit there and think, okay, we don't have to invent the wheel anymore, but we can improve on the wheel. I mean, if we wouldn't, we would still sit on horse carriages. So this is the normal one. You see how the thumb is moving. And this is the, I don't know what the name is of this one. The thumb cannot go away from the ring that much and the ring stays in position. Feels good, feels good. This is almost there. Very nice. Let's see how it would work with the fast shooting technique. When you have the, you know, the knock with the middle finger down there. Yeah. Would work too. So this is, only the rubber band is still a little in the way, but for the rest... Suck. Almost. Yeah, but... You can make it work. So, it's a good idea, Hannes. Cool idea, look at this, huh? How it stays there. It doesn't go anywhere and it's not sliding backwards. Cool. Very cool. So, thank you very much, Hannes, for sending it to me. I can't show the other one because I have already the, these rubber pins. They are in the sun or something or in the cold. They just, they broke. So we need another material there. And then, a good idea, a good starting point. Continue developing, I like it. And that's already all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.